Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am here on Stone Valley 22, a new mod map out by Lancy Boy, 140.11 megabytes to download. Now, often when I say it's a new map out, it's a new map, new maps are out on FS22. Some are conversions over from previous versions. This is a conversion over, however, for all intents and purposes, this is a new map. Because a few bits are similar, barely. The rest of it is so different. And it's brilliant. I mean, I, I, I personally, I think it's great. Fantastic job done by Lancy Boy. Now, there's a lot of stuff to be aware of when we look at the maps. It's taking me a while to get my head around this. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm on New Farmer, Normal Economy. You start with 100,000, the same as always. However, there are parts as we go around the map that you need to buy for things to appear. So what I'm going to do is put some money in. Um, I'm going to use a government subsidy sign, put some money in. And then as we go around, I can buy those plots and show you the things that are there. Uh, contracts are available. There isn't a biogas plant. Unless I've missed it, but I'm going around the map, I haven't come across a biogas plant, just to be aware of that. But the map is based in Illinois, in America, and it has been owned by one farmer, but unfortunately, due to the demand of farming, the owner of the farm decided it was too much for him, so he left all of his equipment in the fields and decided to up and leave. So as we go around the main farm here, you'll see the equipment is right where he left it, partway through harvesting, partway through cultivating, partway through seeding. Um, interestingly, if we look at the map as well, We've got a lot more waterways on the map now. All of these lines here, we've got these waterways all across the map. And it does say that the waterways do flood. Waterways do flood, so be careful. That's brilliant. Um, I really do like that. I and mean, we've got a little more. The other thing you might notice um, is the map's upside down from the previous version. This is why I've had so much trouble getting my head around it. <laughs> I was trying to work out... The orientation and normally you start going around the map and you think oh yeah i remember this remember this i'm thinking i don't i, I can't understand so what i'm going to do now is put the, the previous version's map up just to give you a bit of an idea um now it does say on the description to do with uh, latitude coordinates matches the same as illinois so that could be the reason why it's been uh, flipped around <laughs> Some things are missing, some things are added, some things have been changed. For example, this section down here, um, on the previous version, had cell points here, which now aren't there. Um, and there's a section, this bit here, the other way around was the biogas plant, which it isn't now. Um, yeah, so th there's a lot of changes. Like I say, for all intents and purposes, a new map. It's um, very, very nice indeed. Um, what do we start with on new farmer? Well, we start with the main farm here with field two and field six. To buy that plot will be 491,928 and the field above it is 497. So you get a fair bit of the start. The verges, the periphery is zero. Um, on farm management, start from scratch, you don't start with any of that. So to buy the periphery, that's not too expensive at all. There's not really much in the way of forestry. Um, and that being said, I'm just looking at my list. I don't think there's a sawmill. The problem I've got is I prepped this last night and then it was quite late, so I went to bed. And I've woken up early this morning. I'm looking down my notes, trying to familiarise myself. Field prices, as you might imagine, do vary wildly um, in that the small fields down here are 80 grand, 87 grand. You've got some medium fields. I guess you've got a spread of everything, really, as you go up 454, 492. And then we've got some of the bigger fields here, 1.9 million, 1.7 million. So there's there's plenty to be getting on with. And like I said, contracts are available, which of course, if you know me, you'll know how happy that makes me. So I guess what I need to do then is I'm going to put some money in and then we'll start the tour round. I will see you momentarily. Okay then, off we go into the main farm area. So... What I like about this, and a lot of the maps we've been getting recently, is pretty much everything is sellable. The fences you can get rid of, we've got um, lamps you can get rid of if you want to. I'm not saying you've got to get rid of, but if you want to remove stuff, you absolutely can. Our farmhouse here, actually what I need to do as well. 
those on. That will help. So we've got a pickup truck here. We've got our sleep trigger at the farmhouse. We've got chickens. I think we start with, I think, seven. We've got seven chickens. Whoa, hang on. How do you get out? Seven out, <laughs> seven out of 30 it will hold. So we've got seven. It'll hold 30. We've got one rooster and six chickens just to get us started. Got some barn and building space. I'll talk about slot count while we're here as well. The barns and buildings are amazing. Um, what I do like about this as well is that um, I think most of the stuff that the lighting is custom lighting box in David, but I'm pretty sure all new redesigned farm models by myself, Lancy Boy, which is cool. There are collectibles around the map as we go around too. Um, there are two crop types added. We've got clover and we've got alfalfa. We've got water point just there. So that's what I love. It's literally just left, just, just left as it was. We've got a farmer 400 silo, 400,000 uh, 400, litres. Uh, there's a fuel tank. Can I go past it? That's a 5,000 litre, which will need to be filled. We've got a dog kennel with our dog. You can see him just sitting over there. More barn and building space, and another one over there. If we look out to the field, we've got a tractor over there doing some work. Harvester, I don't know if you see that. We'll drive past it. We'll go past it later on. And then we've got another one just over there. If we go to the map... I see it a little bit better. So, tractor there, harvester there, part way through. Um, if we go to that, you'll see they're part way through doing jobs. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so, you'd have to kind of go and sort all that out. Go back to crop types. So, what we're going to do is grab the pickup and we're going to head around the map. Like I say, you don't start, doesn't, you don't start with a lot. On all three game modes, you start, um, it's slot count is 1003. So, it's identical on all three. Like I said, and the only difference being farm manager and start from scratch. Um, you don't own the land, which you would then subsequently have to buy. Uh, I did get the slot count down to 773. You might be able to get it a little bit lower. I bought, bought all the plots that I've got things on, removed all the buildings that I could, removed the fences, those kind of things, just because, you know, if you want to kind of have a go at a start from scratch kind of idea, um, this farm area looks a little, well, looks like this. It's just to give you an idea, you know, that you can remove stuff if you want to. If you, I say, if you need to, sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But So this is where things get a bit bizarre. Um, for me, anyway. Because that was south originally. Um, and this was a huge field out here. We head out. Just got to make sure I go the right way here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really thrown me, really thrown me. Uh, yeah, we're going the right way. Right, so we're going to head south now. Yeah, we'll just go from what the map is now. And that's what I mean about it being so different. All the buildings, all the detail, it's crisper. It's, I, yeah, I, it's a cracking job. And like I say, for all intents and purposes, it feels like a completely new map. So first cell point we're going to come to is Grain Rich Valley, which is just here on the right hand side. On the left hand side is the first of the plots that you need to buy. There's two productions on the map that you need to buy the land before the productions appear. So we go back to our map, we're just here, click on here and that plot there is 24,192. If I buy that and come back up, we've now got the spinnery. So spinnery is just there. Production chain, continuing north, no south <laughs> oh so sort of look at my map continuing south we're going to take a, a turn in a moment but i say out to that way there's some more waterways there's a, a bridge and it was a little bit forested before with the cell point out to that end but that's now gone there was a diner along this stretch and this is all completely different trees grown up houses gas station it, you know yeah it's good so our gas station is just here and also part of this we've got a cell point here um, we've got the stone valley fuel stop which is a cell point which is just here and then round behind it we have got uh, just there this is the fast food restaurant. 
again with all this detail what i'm amazed with as well on this the slot count uh, the slot count the, the the megabyte download between fs19 and this with all this detail on here it's down to 140.11 megabytes that's amazing that that really is incredible for the size of the map the detail on it so as we're driving along to the next set of cell points um well, I need to talk about the, so the clover and alfalfa, the new crops added. It also mentions compost, but it does say, actually, what we'll do, we'll go into this menu and I'll show. I know, I know I seem to be kind of all over the place at the moment, but there's so many things I want to fit in. There's that there, which says compost. Now, it does say compost added production will be added at a later date. So there'll be an update for the map and compost will be added as a production. But we can do, as it kind of intimates here, alfalfa windrow, alfalfa hay windrow, clover windrow, clover hay windrow. Now you can use forage harvesters for doing alfalfa and clover. Um, mowers, tedders, windrows, that kind of stuff. Uh, forage wagons will pick the stuff up. I think it will go into regular trailers as well. To plant or seed alfalfa and clover, you use the seeders, not the planters, so you need a seeder. Um... And it does also say that for alfalfa, oh no, yeah, well alfalfa, dry lucerne windrow can be given to cows. So the hay, that, the alfalfa hay windrow, can be fed to cows, is what it's saying. So yeah, those two new crop types, for all intents and purposes, grasses. I mean, the clove would usually be um, a cover crop, often. Um, so you could plough that in if you wanted to as a cover crop, but yeah, just thought I'd add that in. Because though people ask about the compost, so it's not actually on the map yet. It's the production is on the way and it will be done in an update. So next up we've got the supermarket just on the left hand side. All things like this. The bridges and the bridge detail and all these little Yeah. The waterways. Right, so we turn into the main store. So this is your vehicle store, machinery, shop. Workshop trigger is just there. The purchase point is just over there. This is also the reset point. So if anything goes wrong, this is where it gets reset to. And then if we go out through the back, it was out through the back, wasn't it? No, hang on. No, that's later on. <laughs> oh no. I know this comes across as very unprofessional. The, the strange thing is, and I've said this, um, I'm, I'm going to say it again, but. When I come on and do look at converted maps, I always do that kind of, you know, does it still have that familiarity? Does it still have, feel nostalgic? But then is it, has it been refreshed enough? This has been refreshed so much that, I'm going to be honest, the feeling of nostalgia isn't here. That's why I'm saying it feels like a completely new map because I'm, I got so used to the previous map because I did an entire Let's Play on it of going in certain directions and certain ways. It's funny how your muscle memory kind of remembers those things. You do certain things and you go in certain directions, you go to certain places and you remember that. Because the map's flipped upside down and changed so hugely, it, you know, it's a bit kind of mind boggling. Right here, <laughs> we've got the Better Earth products. Now this is a buy point. Things like seed and fertilizer are available to buy from the Better Earth products. As we come around the corner, we've got Valley Sale, which is just tucked around the back here. And then we're going to come out and we're going to come to the next of the productions that needs to be purchased. Better make sure I don't pull out into any traffic, which is usually like me. So just here to the left hand side, we've got the grain mill. But there's nothing showing on it at the moment. So if we go back to the map, we've come from the farm uh, we've come all the way down here out across I did look at that and thought well, maybe that's the biogas plant but if you click on that to buy it buys the entire field I mean that's not to say it wouldn't but that'd be unusual if to access the biogas plant is 1.989 million hmm. when we drove past it was just houses there there was nothing that showed as a biogas plant yeah uh, fuel station cell points there restaurant um, sorry supermarket Machinery store, better earth products. So we're here at the moment. So buying that plot there for 56,448. Then puts the grain mill 
on the map. The other thing it does, if we go down to our production chains, because we bought both the plots of land, we've got the productions there now available for the spinnery and the grain mill. So fairly cheaply, we own them. I'm going to double check that. I don't see any reason why we don't own them, because we've just bought them with the plots, yeah. So we don't have to buy them again. So that actually works out quite cheap for the spinnery and for the grain mill. So the grain mill's now been added in. Continuing on. Now heading north. <laughs> We've got South Valley stores off to the left-hand side. I like the fact as well, it, it, it all feels very different as well because because it's all been modded by Lancy Boy and it... I mean, there are some buildings that are similar to other buildings. Of course there are. And there are things that will look familiar and you think, oh yeah, no, way stations and things like that. But it fits really well you know i've been to america a couple of times um but haven't really traveled across areas where you have these massive grain silos and i what i follow a lot of online uh, like youtubers farming youtubers from the us and you see it on their videos and i like the fact that it kind of it feels like that it fits it's wide open spaces big fields but i do love all the kind of washouts and culverts and waterways and when you look across the fields looking across the waterway here and the way that splits across the field, I can just see now, in the middle of there, when that pours with rain, that's going to that's gonna flood. What, I'm, what I might do, I say might, because I'm going to forget, I know I am, before the end of the episode, or at the end of the episode, I'll skip through time and hopefully get some rain, and we'll see maybe one of those areas, what happens when it does. Right, we're pulling in here to the right-hand side. On the map, we've got a couple of things here already, so we've now come up to here. So we've got a water tank and we've got a medium petrol station. This is another plot of land you need to buy. Well, you don't need to, but you can buy. If you buy it for 496751 which is quite pricey considering the prices of the other ones, and come back up again, we've now got pigs. So the building is here, but now we've got access to the pig pen. Feed trough, water trough. And there's your trigger there for 400 pigs. Actually, I was just looking to see. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's the fuel tank, isn't it? Where's the slurry point? Let me just check on... Actually, I might need to put a pig in. You know what I'm going to do? Let's put a pig in. I didn't do this when I came around and checked, but, you know what, it's not going to hurt, is it? And then, rather than just say we've got a pen, it should say we've got some animals. So, um, no. Just water. That's interesting. No slurry. And no bedding either. No straw required. So there'll be no manure either. Again, glad I checked. Often when I go around and you see the slurry point and stuff, it's kind of... You, you know, often you'll make assumptions, but they're kind of educated guesses. But yeah, glad I checked. So, pigs, 400. From here. We're going to head out. Now, if you think of... Um, well, sorry, if you think of this map the other way up. You'll see later on. But um, we're going to head out now to the biomass heating plant. Which is just out here. Now, the biomass heating plant is a sell point. You can buy this plot of land if you want to. Um, if you want to put some placeables around it. Because there's a bit of space if you want to put some placeables. The plot of land's not that expensive. But the biomass heating plant is just here. Uh, it's normally wood and wood chips and things like that for the biomass heating plant. Continuing on from here. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything. The lighting is very, very good and, and it works and the colour palette is spot on. Uh, it, you know, as I've said so many times before, sometimes you get ones that are a bit grainy and a bit washed out. Sometimes they're overly bright and colourful. Um, all of which have their merits you know I, there's little bits like this as well that i really like that stand out because it feels natural you know i know that a lot of people when you when you do map tours and you've got things in fields you know whether it be waterways whether it be electricity pylons whether it be a little clump of trees and people are oh, I, I, so annoying i can't use a worker um but it's more realistic it, it has a much more natural feel to it it does say ai helper added the roads are quite wide. I mean, I, I generally find if I'm going to use AI, which I don't use as often as I probably could or should, 
Um, it's better, always better to turn traffic off. So we have now come from, let's go back to our main map. We've come from the pig pen. We did the biomass eating plant. We've come all up here. And we're now at this point here, which has a fuel point. But if I click on that, 95,568, and we buy it, we've now got sheep. So we've got sheep pen just to the sides here. Like I said, the building is here. Now, some of these you can't remove. This I tried to remove. You couldn't remove it. A lot of the sheds and things you can. Uh, this wall, 200. Uh, actually, while we're talking about that, mods that the map makers included. I generally do that at the start, and I completely forgot. Um, under sheds, we've got quite a lot. I'm not going to lie, we've got a lot of sheds and buildings, uh, including a workshop there that have all been added in by Lancy Boys. So if you remove any and decide to put your farm somewhere else, you've got sheds and buildings, including a workshop that you can place, which is very nice. Uh, under productions, I think some of the production points, as we go on to the end here, we've got a couple that have been added in over and above standard. And I think, have we gone to sell points as well? I mean, it's the same price. Buy my seating plant. They're just out on the end there. Buy my seating plant supermarket. Um, as far as textures go for landscaping and things, fairly standard. There's nothing that kind of stands out over and above usual um, usual textures, to be totally honest. So that's your sheep farm if you want to use it. Again, you don't have to. From here, we can now go across the top of the map. There's every little plot I was looking at thinking, oh, hang on, is that maybe to buy? I, I really do love the undulations. I haven't really used that word very much recently on map tools, but the sweeping nature and undulations of the map, it's, it again gives it a very natural feel. It's not billiard table flat. It's got, you know, it's got a really nice feel to it. So if we come to here, let's swing in. So that, what I was going to say was um, when you click on the map like that, and it's kind of, as you go round, it's looking for plots and places where you think there might be something. So that's where the biomass heating plant is. So like I say, you can buy that that little plot separately if you want to. If you want to put placeables on it. All the rest are fields. Um, there's this section here we're going to get to in a moment. But even bits like that, I thought, well, maybe there's a bit in the corner, but that's an entire field plot. So all the plots that can be bought separately, I have bought. So as I, like I said, as far as I can tell going around, I haven't come across a biomass heating plant, yet, a, a biogas plant. So that would be something you would need to place if you want to. Again, there's plenty of places you can do it. Uh, so we are now at, let me just have a look on my map. Where have we got to? Uh, this is North Valley Farms Storage. It is a sell point, all the pallets there stacked up we come across and we've got another another one of the better earth products buy points seed fertilizer and things like that i say things like that uh, if we go back into our menu again and go to um sell points and prices and things uh if we go up to uh herbicide lime there you go better earth products we can buy a lime manure we can buy there uh, not liquid not liquid fertilizer that's interesting Solid fertiliser we can. Uh, what else was it? Oh, seed, wasn't it, was the other thing I was saying. So there's a few things you can buy from there. Um, some things don't have sell points for. There we go, seeds, better earth products. So the two points there, so seeds, fertilisers, manure, those kind of things, all very handy. Uh, if we come up around the back of here, this is a nice one as well. I like the way this has been kind of integrated in. Um, up the top here, We've got North Valley bales. So the bales, I would imagine, you're delivering them here up to the, the livestock market because they require them for bedding for animals and feed and that kind of stuff. Nice touch having them all kind of integrated into all the, the pens here. As we come round, we've got our animal dealer, livestock market point just there for buying, selling, loading, unloading of your animals. Uh, from here, we come out. Uh, oh, so I was going to show a collectible. The collectibles are worth a thousand. They're a thousand each. I'm not sure how many there are. I'm assuming a hundred. It doesn't specify, but I'm assuming it's a hundred. Um, just check in to make sure. Has there been anything I've missed off that I was going to mention? I, I normally put on my notes important things that I want to make sure I say. But nevertheless, I think I've pretty much covered all of it, I think. So from here then, the only thing we haven't done or come across yet is cows. So what we're going to do is turn down here 
Uh, now, obviously, if you're brand new to Farming Simulator, the franchise in FS22, um, this is a completely new map to you. If you've come on to here and you've played this in FS19, whether it be PC or whatever, I know the PC version was, there was a 4X version, wasn't there? I'm trying to think. Um, this, this is a different map. I mean, it really is. All of this, this level of detail and stuff that wasn't on the previous one. More sweeping terrain, the houses, the buildings, the places of stuff, it's, it's so different. And I like it. I'm, I'm not saying that's a negative in any way at all. I, I really do like that. Oh, hang on. I've missed me turning. Getting so overexcited. I drove past on it. Hang on, is that it? It is it. So we're going to head out here. This is where our cows are, if you want to do cow farming. We've got a nice little farm area put out here. Old barn over there. A farmhouse there. It doesn't have a trigger, a sleep trigger or anything, but the farmhouse is just there. And then we've got some buildings and things here, storage, etc. Now this is interesting in uh, for a few different reasons. If we jump out and we go back to our map, so we've now come across the top there from the sheep to the cell points there. We've now come down here and up this track, and this is where we are. So this plot will set it back 246,840. If we buy that and come back up, we've now got the cow um, pen showing, which is this building here. So we've got a fuel point. We've got our uh, trigger here. I think this does, is it 200 or 150? 150 cows. Animations and sounds spot on. Um, feed points and straw bedding points and things like that. Uh, fuel tank around the sides here. We've got our milk point tucked away in this little building here. Lovely. And our slurry point, and this again, a nice touch. I like this. Our slurry point is just here. But what's even more interesting, I personally think, and this again, my own personal opinion, <laughs> we've got some more barn and building space here. Um, if I buy a couple of cows, doesn't matter how many I buy, but let's buy some. Uh, doesn't matter what. We'll go for some, let's go for some brown Swiss and let's buy some expensive ones. Let's buy five, for example. Okay, now I hope this works like it did when I checked, when I, when I tested the map, because I was curious. The, the feed points and the trigger and stuff is all here. However, the animals are out here in the field. Looks like they might all be in the field. Oh, that's frustrating. Because um, when I did it, came around. Now, there's a water trough here, but don't. there's no trigger for this. That's just there, as far as I can tell, for looks. Because if we go down to our pens here, we go down to there. It says milk, straw, slurry. There's nothing about water. So as far as I'm aware, the water will be provided automatically. Um, you do still get charged, I think, every day or every hour or whatever for the water. I think it's every day. It's a minimal amount, and that's the same with any of the barns and buildings that have automatic water. Whilst you don't have to put water in, you do still get charged. There's nothing there that says water needs to be put in uh, for them, but bedding will need to be up there as well. But they're out here in this field. Um, when I placed, I put three in before, one of them was over here. Well, I'll show you that in a second. We've got two size clamps. If we walk around this little bit here, you can see from the field, this is open to the field. And I kind of drove across here going to the next point and there was a cow standing here. I was like, um, hang on a minute, is that right? Um, apparently they, they just, they can wander about, which is brilliant. Again, nice touch, I like that, unless that was just a small glitch. I was hoping that was gonna walk this way. Um, bit of run DMC for you. Well, Aerosmith, but Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I digress. I know I frustrate people a lot of time because I waffle and I talk about all sorts of stuff. That's who I am, it's what I do. It's how I do my map tours and mod reviews and everything else as well. So, from here, the cow, pen, farm, another nice large building. And I mentioned earlier about the sheds and stuff that Lancy Boy had put in as mods that you can place. We've got one of them down here. We've got a workshop. Just there. Trigger there. Drive through as well so you can go out the other side. So, 
Back to the map then. So we're out here, and we'll drive back along. As we come back down to the south, we're back to the main farm. What I'm going to do, because I came straight down, I'm going to go down to there, and we'll go out across, so we just see the vehicles and stuff in the field, just to, you know, give an idea. And then if I, if I can, I will skip ahead. I might jump some months, see if we can get some rain, um, because I'm genuinely... I know there's pictures on the... Uh, on the on the mod hub website and stuff like that but i'm curious oh the other thing i was to say was um selling things here you can sell the size clamps you can sell those buildings there uh that one i think you could i couldn't sell the cow barn building itself and the farmhouse i couldn't all of these fences can be removed if you wanted to remove them if if i know some people find fences frustrating and that kind of thing so if you want to remove them you can but that's the cows so from here back out to the main road I'm just kind of looking out as, as I drive around and another, you know, another facet to uh, doing the map tours is just to get a feel for the map. That's a general kind of a generally accepted kind of thing. You can kind of get a look and a feel. Every direction I look, it kind of, there's not a horrible sight, you know, it just has a lovely sweeping nature to it, I, it you know. So what I'm going to do here, where we went straight across before, I'm going to swing around. And as you can see, the same as the trailer sitting up, we've just got stuff in the field. It's, it's part way through prepping and harvesting and it's just been left, just completely abandoned. I drive across, I thought I'd better cross, come across the middle here just in case I've missed a, a secret laboratory biogas plant or something. And over here, we've got this strip of land. Oh, I didn't see that. So busy looking ahead at the tractor. Oh, it's all I have seen though. Stop out. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to know, look away now. Collectible. There you go. A thousand. With a tractor out here doing some seeding. So, uh, yeah. If you want to hang around, please do. Um, and I'll see if I can get some of a look at one of these washouts hopefully if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen it'll you know pop up on the screen um, but i'll try and put that on before the end um that's the map that's stone valley 22 a couple of people did message me so they found a couple of bugs that have been reported to lancy boy on lancy boy's facebook i think he's got a thing up saying there's a, a bug reporting thread um on there but it, just for that not for any other comments or questions it's just for bug reporting so if you have found anything that's great put it on there um obviously i haven't played on this yet i'm just doing the map tour um so i won't have come across any of those things yet but i have to say you know yes it is a converted um map but it feels completely new i know i've said that repeatedly but it's, it feels like a completely new map so when i put new mod map or new map tour it really is i think um so there you go fantastic by lancy boy hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching